Deuteronomy 22 You shall not see your brother's ox or his sheep straying away and ignore them. You shall certainly bring them back to your brother. And if your brother is not near you, or if you do not know him, then you shall bring it home to your house, and it shall be with you until your brother searches for it, then you shall give it back to him. Thus you shall do with his donkey, and you shall do likewise with his garment, and you shall do likewise with anything lost by your brother, which he has lost and you have found. You are not allowed to ignore them. You shall not see your brother's donkey or his ox fallen down on the way and ignore them. You shall certainly help him to raise them up. A woman shall not wear man's clothing, nor shall a man put on a woman's clothing. For whoever does these things is an abomination to Yahweh your God. If you happen to come upon a bird's nest along the way, in any tree or on the ground, with young ones or eggs, and the mother sitting on the young or on the eggs, you shall not take the mother with the young. You shall certainly let the mother go, but the young you may take for yourself, in order that it may be well with you and that you may prolong your days. When you build a new house, you shall make a parapet for your roof, so that you will not bring blood guilt on your house if any one falls from it. You shall not sow your vineyard with two kinds of seed, lest all the produce of the seed which you have sown and the increase of the vineyard become defiled. You shall not plow with an ox and a donkey together. You shall not wear material mixed of wool and flax together. You shall make yourself tassels on the four corners of your garment with which you cover yourself. If any man takes a wife and goes into her and then turns against her and charges her with shameful deeds and brings forth against her a bad name and says, I took this woman, but when I came near her, I did not find her a virgin. Then the girl's father and her mother shall take and bring out the evidence of the girl's virginity to the elders of the city at the gate. Then the girl's father shall say to the elders, I gave my daughter to this man as a wife, but he turned against her. And behold, he has charged her with shameful deeds, saying, I did not find your daughter a virgin. But this is the evidence of my daughter's virginity and they shall spread the garment before the elders of the city. So the elders of that city shall take the man and chastise him, and they shall fine him one hundred shekels of silver, and give it to the girl's father, because he brought forth a bad name against a virgin of Israel. And she shall be his wife, he cannot divorce her all his days. But if this charge is true, that the girl was not found a virgin, then they shall bring out the girl to the doorway of her father's house, and the men of her city shall stone her, and she will die, because she has committed a disgraceful act in Israel by playing the harlot in her father's house. Thus you shall purge the evil from among you. If a man is found lying with a married woman, then both of them shall die, the man who lay with the woman and the woman. Thus you shall purge the evil from Israel. If there is a girl who is a virgin engaged to a man, and another man finds her in the city and lies with her, then you shall bring them both out to the gate of that city, and you shall stone them, and they will die. The girl, because she did not cry out in the city, and the man, because he has violated his neighbor's wife. Thus you shall purge the evil from among you. But if in the field the man finds the girl who is engaged, and the man forces her and lies with her, then only the man who lies with her shall die. But you shall do nothing to the girl. There is no sin in the girl worthy of death. For just as a man rises against his neighbor and murders him, so is this case. When he found her in the field, the engaged girl cried out, but there was no one to save her. If a man finds a girl who is a virgin who is not engaged, and seizes her and lies with her and they are found, then the man who lay with her shall give to the girl's father fifty shekels of silver, and she shall become his wife because he has violated her. He cannot divorce her all his days. A man shall not take his father's wife so that he will not uncover his father's skirt. Psalm 110 of David, a psalm. Yahweh says to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemies as a footstool for your feet. Yahweh will stretch forth your strong scepter from Zion, saying, Have dominion in the midst of your enemies. Your people will offer themselves freely in the day of your power, in the splendor of holiness, from the womb of the dawn. 
The dew of your youthfulness will be yours. Yahweh has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand. He will crush kings in the day of his anger. He will render justice among the nations. He will fill them with corpses. He will crush the head that is over the wide earth. He will drink from the brook by the wayside. Therefore he will lift up his head. Psalm 111 Aleph Praise Yah! I will give thanks to Yahweh with all my heart. Bait In the counsel of the upright and in the congregation. Gimel Greater the works of Yahweh. Daleth They are sought by all who delight in them. Hey, Splendid and majestic is his work. Vav And his righteousness stands forever. Zion He has made his wondrous deeds to be remembered. Haith, Yahweh is gracious and compassionate. Taith, He has given food to those who fear Him. Yod, He will remember His covenant forever. Kaf, He has declared to His people the power of His works. Lamed, In giving them an inheritance of the nations. Maim, The works of His hands are truth and justice. Noon, All His precepts are faithful. Samak, they are upheld forever and ever. Ayan, they are done in truth and uprightness. Pei, he has sent redemption to his people. Sade, he has commanded his covenant forever. Kof, holy and fearsome is his name. Resh, the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. Sin, good insight belongs to all those who do his commandments. Tav, his praise stands forever. Isaiah 49 Listen to me, O coastlands, and pay attention, you peoples from afar. Yahweh called me from the womb. From the body of my mother he made my name to be remembered. He has set my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand he has concealed me, and he has also set me as a select arrow. He has hidden me in his quiver. He said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will show forth my beautiful glory. But I said, I have toiled in vain. I have spent my might for nothing and vanity. Yet surely the justice due to me is with Yahweh, and my reward with my God. So now says Yahweh, who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to return Jacob back to him, so that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am glorified in the sight of Yahweh, and my God is my strength. He says, It is too small a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to cause the preserved ones of Israel to return. I will also give you as a light of the nations, so that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Thus says Yahweh, the Redeemer of Israel and its Holy One, to the despised one, to the one abhorred by the nation, to the servant of rulers, kings will see and arise, princes will also bow down, because of Yahweh who is faithful the Holy One of Israel who has chosen you. Thus says Yahweh, In an acceptable time I have answered you, and in a day of salvation I have helped you, and I will guard you and give you for a covenant of the people, to establish the land, to make them inherit the desolate inheritance, saying to those who are bound, Go forth, to those who are in darkness, show yourselves, along the roads they will feed, and their pasture will be on all bare heights. They will not hunger or thirst, nor will the scorching heat or sun strike them down. For he who has compassion on them will guide them, and will lead them to springs of water. I will set all my mountains as a road, and my highways will be raised up. Behold, these will come from afar, and behold, these will come from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Sinem. Shout for joy, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth! Break forth into joyful shouting, O mountains. For Yahweh has comforted his people and will have compassion on his afflicted. But Zion said, Yahweh has forsaken me, and the Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her infant and have no compassion on the son of her womb? Even these may forget, but I will not forget you. Behold, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. Your builders hurry. Your destroyers and devastators will depart from you. 
Lift up your eyes and look around. All of them gather together. They come to you. As I live, declares Yahweh, you will surely put on all of them as jewels and bind them on as a bride. For your devastated and desolate places and your destroyed land, Surely now you will be too cramped for the inhabitants, and those who swallowed you will be far away. The children of whom you were bereaved will yet say in your ears, The place is too cramped for me. Make room for me that I may live here. Then you will say in your heart, Who has borne these for me? Indeed, I have been bereaved of my children, and am barren, an exile and a wanderer. And who has reared these? Behold, I remained alone. From where did these come? Thus says Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will lift up my hand to the nations, and make high my standard to the peoples. And they will bring your sons in their bosom, and your daughters will be lifted up on their shoulders. Kings will be your guardians, and their princesses your nurses. They will bow down to you with their faces to the earth, and lick the dust of your feet. And you will know that I am Yahweh. Those who hope in me will not be put to shame. Can the prey be taken from the mighty man, or the captives of the righteous be granted escape? Surely, thus says Yahweh, even the captives of the mighty man will be taken away, and the prey of the tyrant will be granted escape. For I will contend with the one who contends with you, and I will save your sons. I will feed those who mistreat you with their own flesh, and they will become drunk with their own blood as with sweet wine. And all flesh will know that I, Yahweh, am your Savior, and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Revelation 19 After these things I heard something like a loud voice of a great crowd in heaven saying, Hallelujah! Salvation and glory and power belong to our God. Because His judgments are true and righteous, For he has judged the great harlot who was corrupting the earth with her sexual immorality, and he has avenged the blood of his slaves shed by her hand. And a second time they said, Hallelujah! Her smoke rises up forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God who sits on the throne, saying, Amen! Hallelujah! And a voice came from the throne, saying, Give praise to our God, all you his slaves, you who fear him, the small and the great. Then I heard something like the voice of a great crowd, and like the sound of many waters, and like the sound of mighty peals of thunder, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Let us rejoice and be glad, and give the glory to him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. And it was given to her to clothe herself in fine linen, bright and clean, for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. Then he said to me, Write, Blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are true words of God. Then I fell at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, Do not do that. I am a fellow slave with you and your brothers who have the witness of Jesus. Worship God, for the witness of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Then I saw heaven opened, And behold, a white horse, and he who sits on it is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and wages war. His eyes are a flame of fire, and on his head are many diadems, having a name written on him which no one knows except himself. And being clothed with a garment dipped in blood, his name is also called the Word of God. And the armies which are in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, were following him on white horses. And from his mouth comes a sharp sword, so that with it he may strike down the nations, and he will rule them with a rod of iron. And he treads the winepress of the wrath of the rage of God, the Almighty. And he has on his garment and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. Then I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried out with a loud voice, saying to all the birds which fly in mid-heaven, Come, assemble for the great supper of God so that you may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of commanders and the flesh of strong men and the flesh of horses and of those who sit on them and the flesh of all men, both free men and slaves and small and great. Then I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies assembled to make war with him who sits on the horse and with his army. And the beast was seized and with him the false prophet who did the signs in his presence 
by which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. These two were thrown alive into the lake of fire which burns with brimstone, and the rest were killed with the sword which came from the mouth of him who sits on the horse, and all the birds were filled with their flesh.